there are two outputs available on the controller that you can use to switch something on and off. To switch a uh, relay or uh, light on and off based on low fuel level or high fuel level, and we'll do the following. I'm going to press enter. We're going to go to switched output. You have two available you can use. Output E and output F. I just selected output F. Go back. There's output E. We want output E to be a warning, and the warning is low fuel level. There's a check mark there now, and go back. We also wanted to know high fuel level, so we're going to go back to switched I.O., and the next one is going to be output F, as in Frank. We're going to select warnings, and we're looking for high fuel level. High fuel level. The uh, check mark moved down beside it to confirm we have the right thing selected. We go back. Oops. Selected the wrong. I hit the wrong keys here by mistake. So let's see how we correct that. Warnings. High fuel level. Now we can go back. Back. Back back and we're done. Now when you have a high fuel level, output F will turn on. If you have a low fuel level, output E will turn on. Now you can set what those levels are. When you go to sensors, it might ask you for a password, it's four number zeros. So your sensors, we're looking for the fuel level Here's fuel level. The signal source, we don't have to adjust that. That tells it what input to use on a controller. The sensor type, we don't need to adjust that. It's already set for you. The set points. So how long to ignore the sensor? What the low warning level is? What the low failure level is? What the high warning level is? And what the um, high failure level is? You're going to have to experiment here and see what high and low is. It is not a linear scale. It's only about 12 steps uh, because of the short or the uh, shallow tank. We can't get a very accurate um, feedback from the sensor, really how much is in the tank. So you may find your warning could be between two to 10% for an empty tank. Uh, so play with that. Also play with the high level warning. Uh, you may find it's anywhere from 90 to 100%. It's only, uh, uh, I believe it's every 10 centimeters is, um, <clears throat> a change in value on the sensor. So adjust it accordingly, your low level, maybe you'll start at 10, 10%. If you set it to fail, then the engine will actually shut off when it reaches that level. And we don't want that to happen when you're, when you're using your uh, generator in your application. Of course, to get out of this, we just back out. And that's all there is to it.